Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. That's a challenge this young 1979 team must respond to as they visit Tokyo for the most distant away game in Notre Dame history. For these young men from all across America, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that will never be forgotten. It is a splendid example of the educational benefits of college football. And above all, it is fun. Eighty thousand rain-soaked but wildly enthusiastic fans turn out to watch Notre Dame Miami, and Vegas Ferguson discovers Oriental turf is just as suited for his skills as that back home. Playing his final game in an Irish uniform, this All-American runner is named the Mirage Bowl's most valuable player and ends his college career owning nearly every Irish rushing record in history. The muddy victory is also a fitting climax for Tri-Captain Dave Wehmer. Two interceptions, two touchdowns, and the outcome is never in doubt. The Irish show their determination to end the season on a high note, and a triumph over Miami makes this 7,000-mile trip rewarding both on and off the field. To all Notre Dame followers, 1979 was not as successful as Irish coaches, players, or fans had hoped. But the Irish worked diligently for every accomplishment, and in the process, uncovered some outstanding young players. Defensive lineman Scott Zetti, Mark Saya, Don Kidd, John Hanker, all juniors in 79 return, along with sophomores Kevin Griffin, Pat Kramer, Jeff Lucan and Joe Gramke. In the secondary, captain-elect Tom Gibbons and sophomores John Krim and Steve Sitchi all come back. Another 1980 Irish captain, Bob Crable, who set a Notre Dame record for season tackles, still has two more years to play at linebacker in what should be an outstanding career. On offense, interior lineman John Scully, the third Irish captain-elect, and Tim Huffman return to join one of college football's most exciting freshmen, wide receiver Tony Hunter. Hunter, who ranked number one in the nation by averaging more than 25 yards every time he caught the ball in 79, will team up with Dee Maztec and Pete Houlihan to give the Irish one of their most prolific core of pass catchers in many, many years. Yes, 1979 may prove to be a valuable year of growth for the golden-helmeted young men who annually make South Bend the football capital of the world. This nationally renowned university with 607 football victories, more national championships, more All-Americans, more Heisman Trophy winners than any other university, can build upon the maturity gained in 1979 as the groundwork for a return to national prominence. Successful athletes and winning teams bounce back after temporary setbacks. That is the challenge Dan Devine's team will face as the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame seek to carry their winning tradition into a new decade.